I received a very infuriating email today. It was from Beetle Bailey, I mean, Beto O'Rourke, my compadre. And there was a bunch of crap in there I won't go into. But the thing that really annoyed me was he actually asked me for money to help fight corporate influence in government. I said, you got to be kidding him. Beto, are you on crack? You know, I, I grew up in an era when Republicans were perceived to be the party of corporate America. And to a great extent, that was true then. But the idea that this clash we just had between Biden and Trump was between the common people and corporate America is laughable. I mean, how can Beto O'Rourke make this appeal for cash from little people like me with a straight face? Corporate America. Who is corporate America supporting today? What are the biggest corporations today? Amazon? Who are they supporting? Trump? Conservatives? Who just pulled the plug on Parler? Facebook? Twitter? Google? Who are they supporting? The Democrats. Beto O'Rourke, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, media, all the big media conglomerates except for Fox News, all are supporting the Democrats. Who are the corporations that are giving money to BLM? Who do they support? Trump? They're giving money to BLM and they support Trump? You know damn well they don't. They support Biden and the Democrats and Beto O'Rourke. Who are the corporations trying to pull the plug on conservative speech? Simon & Schuster, big corporation, canceled Senator Hawley's book. The corporations, T-Mobile, others, pulled their ads from Tucker Carlson to try to help get him off the air. Who are the corporations supporting in this country? When you think of the corporations in this country, who do you think of? Donald Trump and the Republicans? Donald Trump and the people who were, were in the Capitol or marching in Washington or at the Trump rallies around the country before the election? Are they the face of corporate America? Where did, where did Biden and people and like him and Hillary get their money from big speaking fees from big corporations? Corporate America and the Democrats are like this. And here's this moron, Beto O'Rourke, assuming that I'm so stupid, I'm going to give him money so that he can fight the influence of corporate America? while the corporations that support him are censoring me on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and what I see if I use Google as my search engine. They're in bed with corporate America, people like Beto or work. And they have the unmitigated gall to come to me and ask me for more money to help fight the people who are already funding them. How does this make any sense? How does this guy sleep at night? Does this guy, how stupid does Beto O'Rourke think the American people are? That, that they still associate the Republican Party with corporate interests? You know, who, who's the president from the credit card companies? Joe Biden, Delaware, president from, what did he call him, president or senator from MBNA or MBNA or whatever it was called, the, the credit card company? I mean, this is incredible. It's one thing that they, they used to be the party of the people. When I was a kid, when I was growing up, they were the party of the working class. Now they're the party of corporate America. And that's fine if that's the way they want to go. But then to turn around and pretend that they're still the party of the working class and that I should give them money and that they're going to use the money to fight corporate interest? You think the Democrats are going to try to stop social media censorship of conservatives? You know damn well they're not going to do that. They're actually, I've seen them on TV asking for more. They want social media to cut down on more conservative speech. They want to find ways to limit talk radio. They would find ways to get rid of Fox News if they could. 
this is absurd. But absurdity is where we're at. We live in, as I posted in a video the other day, we live in bizarro America. Bizarro America. And to me, I got this email this morning. I thought, this is it. This is bizarro America. The people who are in the pay of the big corporations in this country asking little people for cash to fight corporate influence. It doesn't get more bizarre than that. Welcome to Bizarre America. Welcome to 2021. And if you think it's going to be better than 2020, you got another thing coming. Wake up. That's my rant today. Have one of your own. Leave a comment. Give the video a thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. Hit the notification button. You'll know when I post new videos. And keep fighting. And keep ranting too.